I know you cannot say too much about your role in Gremlins, The Secret of the Mogwai, but what excited you about uh, returning to the, the GCU? Uh, the Gremlins Cinematic Universe, we're going to coin that uh, today. Well, first of all, it's been an incredibly long time. I mean, Gremlins 2 came out in 1990, so you're talking 30 years exactly when I got the gig, because remember, I, I actually booked this in June of 2020. So I've had to not be able to talk about this or tell anybody yeah. about anything, you know, for 25 months. It's like one of the longest NDAs I've ever had. Wow. It's crazy. Wow. Um, so it was fantastic. They've done some really interesting things with with the whole mythology. They've kind of like, even though it takes place in 1920s, in some ways they've sort of updated it so that it looks kind of hip and cool and groovy and the animation is it's kind of in a style I don't really think that I've seen. So it's very unique. You can't really compare it to anything else. Mm -hmm. So that makes it kind of a unique viewing experience. and. And just having a new creative team in there to kind of taking a fresh look at it was, it's just really exciting and I'm actually quite grateful to be a part of it. And Joe Dante is involved, right? I believe he's a consultant. That obviously gives it some, some cred, I would imagine. Have you guys been back in touch? I mean, we never really lost touch. Yeah. Uh, Joe and I probably email each other maybe every couple of months. Oh, that's awesome. Um, you know, he sends me hilarious articles sometimes, like he sent me a New York Times rave review of Gremlins 2, which if you remember, did not really get received all that well at the time. Yeah. And he sent me a rave review and just with three words, vindicated at last. <laughs> I mean, no one will argue that the, the first Gremlins movie was a classic, but Gremlins 2, did you guys feel that, is that, was that an ongoing conversation? Did you feel, did you guys feel like that one got a bum rap that maybe was a little underrated? Anytime you do something as uh, subversive, really, as what Joe did, which was take a second sequel and just make it kind of make fun of the first. It's almost a satire of the first one. You know, most of the time when people go see a, a blank too. Yeah. They want to see more of the same. They and don't Gremlins expect you to spoof yourselves, basically. No, I don't think anyone's done it since, <laughs> before or after. Yeah. And so I think the whole meta thing about it, or postmodern thing, however you want to describe it, I think it threw a lot of people off, because they were just expecting to see like chunk two of Gremlins, you know what I mean? Right, right. And, um, and it, you know, to, to be fair, it threw me off a little bit too, because a lot of it was very Mad Magazine kind of style humor going on, so uh, it took a little of adjustment to get to the new tone. Yeah, yeah. But then you also had things like working with Christopher Lee, who was a legend, you know, and, and, and other great actors yes. and stuff, so, it's so it, great. it was good fun. It's so great in that film. Dr. Catheter. Yes, yes.